Here are a few more commands in the IML procedure. So suppose I have a matrix here, A, that has these values, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, uh, 2, 3, minus 2, 3, minus 1, um, and so on. And what I want to do is take little pieces of this matrix and make them be their own matrix. So for example, if I just wanted a scalar in that second row, third column, if I wanted to grab that minus 2, I could do it with that command. These closed brackets tell us we're going to grab a piece of the matrix. So x is going to take the value um, just minus 2. If you want to grab a whole row at the time or a whole column at the time, you can do that with these commands. Um, if you want the, that third column, y is going to take the value 1, minus 2, 3. Similarly, z will take the values 1, 2, 1, 1, 1. It'll be a row vector. Um, you can also sum up uh, rows and columns with these two commands. So if I wanted to add up across 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 6, um, and then 5 and 3, if you wanted that to be a matrix in and of itself, a vector, um, then you could use this command. So this is x1. And then similarly, you could make x2 uh, a row vector that, ha that sums down this way, um, say 5 and so on and so forth. Um, you can also grab um, several elements at the time in a matrix. If you want the um, first and third columns, uh, excuse me, the first and third rows and the fourth and fifth columns, so that's going to be this number, this number, this number, and this number. So we grab the first and third rows, the fourth and fifth columns. So 1, 1, 0, 1. If you want that to be a matrix in and of itself, you can do that that way with those curly brackets there and a comma between. Don't forget the comma. If you want um, rows 1 through 3 and columns 4 through 5, you can use the colon there to just go across so you don't have to um, list things out. So that'll give me this whole piece here will be matrix Y2. Um, and I can print them out just like this. You notice um, when I'm printing these out that what SAS will naturally wrap around to the next row when the matrices get too big. Um, but if you want to dictate what goes on what row, you can...